Coral reefs are the most diverse ecosystems in the oceans, housing approximately one out of every four marine species. They are primarily built by hard coral colonies that are composed of thousands of polyps that contain millions of microscopic algae. These algae, known as zooxanthellae, live in symbiosis with the corals. They gain nutrients and protection, and in turn provide energy to the coral so it can build a skeleton. However, if temperatures rise and corals become stressed, the zooxanthellae are expelled and the corals become weak. Since zooxanthellae provide colorful pigments, when they are expelled, the white skeleton becomes visible. This is known as coral bleaching. Bleached corals are not dead yet, but they are extremely weak and prone to mortality. Large macroalgae can proliferate and grow over corals, killing them. When this happens, the reef can shift into a different form, dominated by algae. It becomes less useful to humans with lowered fish yields, less protection from storms, and lower revenue from tourism. Global bleaching is often linked to major events such as El Nino. In 1998, a particularly intense El Nino caused the mortality of an estimated 16% of the world's tropical corals in the matter of months. Worryingly, the frequency and intensity of bleaching events are also increasing due to changes in the climate and subsequent rises in sea temperatures. Climate change and coral bleaching are considered the most serious threat to coral reefs today, and some scientists even predict that reefs may go functionally extinct this century. However, it is possible for coral reefs to resist bleaching, that is resistance, or to recover relatively quickly after bleaching events. We call that resilience. Now many different ecological and environmental factors affect the resistance and resilience of corals and reefs to climate change. So it's very important for managers to understand what these factors are so that they can protect their reefs more effectively. Things such as reducing pollution or re reducing overfishing uh, can very much help reefs to recover and resist climate change impacts. So the future of reefs is very much in our hands.